wonder what would happen if an industrial designer had a go at making prosthetic legs, things that are beautiful but don't try to look man-made, but that also don't neglect the aesthetics. My background is originally from a machine shop. You know, I, I like making stuff with my hands. Then also I have a degree in industrial design, so my other love is really making beautiful products of all kinds. I worked at Apple back in 93, and, and once you go through the Apple world, you've really drank the Kool-Aid. You know, from that day forward, you really can't do anything that you're not absolutely obsessively proud of. I had my first exposure to 3D printing 20 years ago, and we probably created some of the first products ever created three-dimensionally printed. I happened to run into this guy, Ken Trauner, and he was an orthopedic surgeon, but he has a, a nose for innovation. And so we explored all the different things you could do. We realized that we've really unlocked the door for a lot of problems that orthopedic surgeons have. The person who comes to us, they already have a prosthetic leg that's working. And it looks like it was created by a bunch of engineers because it was created by a bunch of engineers. So we said, okay, let's, let's just see what we can do. We three-dimensionally three scanned the body, modified things on the computer, 3D printed the results, and realized, wait, we've got something here. We can actually take and run with it. We started, I think, with three people just to test the concept out. And um, this woman, Deborah, she lost her leg in a motorcycle crash. And we created this fairing for her, and the whole idea was just how beautiful can we make it? You know, polished metal, three-dimensionally printed, lace-like pattern, uh, really capturing the, the really beautiful calves that she had. And all of a sudden, she started sending me texts about people who would stop her in the grocery store and tell her what a cool thing she had. And she was wearing skirts that she hadn't worn to opera at the symphony out in public so that she could actually show what, what she had. We were working with Chad, who was another guy, uh, lost his leg to cancer. And we, we created this cool leg for him, one for playing soccer, he's a competitive soccer player. We created another just for wearing around town. And when we put it on him, I think two and a half, maybe three years ago, something, he reached down and felt this leg and he kind of paused. And he said, wow, I, I haven't felt that shape in eight years. And that was this amazing thing, because it wasn't just that we're creating something that looks cool, we're recreating a sense of self. And I think there's this huge opportunity to turn those into not just something that is a engineering artifact that happens to surround the body and augment functionality, but really create something that connects to the person, not just in that tactile, physical way, but emotionally. It, it kind of changed these people's lives, and it changed the way they uh, got through every day.